Hi, in today's video we're having a look at a Deluxe Talk Boy. The Talk Boy was originally designed as a prop for the movie Home Alone 2 by Tiger Electronics, who designed and built it. The Talk Boy was originally released in 1992, but it didn't feature the voice changer on the back. In 1993, they released the Talk Boy Deluxe, which is this model, which did feature the voice changer. And it was a, a much better selling product than the original one. In fact, so much that it became sold out across the US and people couldn't get a hold of it. It was made until 1999 and then it was discontinued. So I purchased this one for spares or repair and I've put some batteries in it. We hit play, we can see the tape goes around, but there's no volume, no audio. So we shall take it apart and see if we can repair it. So I can see four screws here by the look of things. I'll just pop the back piece back out just in case there's any hidden screws under there. I can't see any. Looks like the handle is actually a separate part. Seems like there's something under this section keeping it from opening. Right, I've just spotted another screw down here. So, hopefully, we're in. Right, so. Yeah, they sort of glued the... Uh, not glued melted plastic over these uh, wires just to hold them in place so right so the first thing I'm going to do is just check this speaker here with the test meter I should get a, a reading of about uh, 48 ohms I would think And it appears we don't. So I think the speaker might be gone on this. Um, No, have I got a speaker or something again? Where does the speaker go to? It goes to here, it looks to be one of the connections. Looks if I use the probe. Yep, so that's one of the connections. Uh, 
on the black wire. It's a bit hard to see with this uh, tie on. I'll just take that off. Alright, okay, case so it goes to there. Right, so those two should be where the sound comes out. A little bit of corrosion on the battery contact there. I might take that out and give it a give it a bit of a clean. Same with these ones. Put a bit of white vinegar on those and see if I can clean those up a bit. Right, so I shall go and see if I can find a speaker similar size, and then I'll be back. Right, I couldn't find a speaker that was the right size, but I've just tacked a one. Just on there, and we'll just use it temporarily for testing until I find a. Or I'm going to order a speaker that's the right size. I've just pulled the two contacts out there, the ones that uh, were quite corroded, and I've just put them in some white vinegar just to uh, get rid of all the alkaline remains off the leaked batteries on there. And they've actually, yeah, it looks like they're cleaning up quite well, to be quite honest with you. A little bit green on the back there, but they've just. Uh, when I put them in, they started fizzing quite nicely, and all the. All the alkaline stuff started coming off. So I'm going to uh, rinse them off in some plain water in a moment. And then we'll put them back in and we'll see if we get any, uh, any life out of it. So the speaker that I had wired up, you could hardly hear. But when I've checked it, it's actually a 32 ohm speaker. But anyway, just so happens that the new speaker that I ordered has just turned up. So I shall remove the old speaker. We'll put this one in and we'll see if it works. Hopefully this one will fit. Yeah, I think that will go there nicely. I'll just desolder these uh, original wires. And I'll put some Gorilla Glue just around the edge of the speaker just to hold it in place. So I can get the Gorilla Glue open. I think it's actually glued itself shut. Screwdriver. 
This is a small screw that needs to go in there, but I'll have a look for that and find that later. Uh, right, which way the batteries go in this now? I think the wires are a bit awkward. Sorry, the batteries are a little bit awkward to get in this. See if it works. And absolutely nothing. So what have we done wrong here then? There's something definitely not right. Ah, right, off, on and slow, right, I see, no. I thought it was just slow, on or off, but it's actually three positions. Right, okay. So if we record something. Testing, testing, one, two, three. sound at all by the sound of it well, or not by the sound of it should I say right what's going on with this then oh, both of those speak wires appear to be on properly I'll just check with what eight ohms there So this is a bit odd. The only problem is we can't really test this without uh, putting it back together for the batteries. Unless I've got my pinch power supply and power it up. Um, it might be worth doing that. Right, one moment please. Right, I've got the uh, bench power supply hooked up there, and when I press play, it's going around there, so I can power it up without uh, without the batteries now. But one thing I have noticed is the uh, the earphone socket, which um, disconnects the speaker when you put some headphones in. Actually, had a little bit of corrosion on there, so I've just put a drop of uh, white vinegar in there just to try and get rid of a little bit of corrosion. And we'll just put some isopropyl alcohol in there just to try and clean that vinegar out of the way. And I'll just put these headphones in just to try and clean the connector out. I'll try and get it back together a bit now and we'll give it a test. Alright, so I hit record. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. And then he just fell off. Right, well I could definitely hear something there. 
So, I'll try putting them back together now with the batteries in. Let's just bench power supply off now. And I'll see if a third time look he has this here. So, testing one, two, three, four. Testing, testing one, two, three, four. vinegar or the isopropyl alcohol hasn't agreed with the front of it hopefully it's just the vinegar yeah I don't think the paint's very good on this it seems to uh, come off rather easily This is Peter McAllister, the father. Yes, sir. I'd like a hotel room, please. Yeah. Credit card, you got it. This is Mr. McAllister, the father. I'd like to order a room. Credit card, you got it. Right then, all appears to be working. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.